Good morning. So I just finished a road trip through a bunch of different states. We are now in Glenwood, Colorado. We were gonna go home yesterday, but it said that there was supposed to be like hail and tornadoes in Denver. So instead we just decided to stay here. And this morning I woke up and it is a rainy morning, which is not super common here. At least for the times that I've been, it's always like really hot or snowing. So I haven't seen rain since Florida, so it's really nice to have a rainy morning. I did a list of to-dos for today. I'm going to make myself a little bit of coffee and then I think I'm going to start on my first to-do, which is iPad plan. So yesterday I had an unfortunate event because my coffee press broke. A lot of times whenever we're driving, normally I'll clean it out and I'll put it away and I'll put it up here. But sometimes when I'm feeling lazy and there's still water in this from like yesterday when I heated it up and I don't want to just dump it away, I'll put it in my sink. I'll just take this off. I have a bunch of dishes right now. but And then I'll just set this in here. It works totally fine, but I guess yesterday I might have hit a bump and something fell on it. I know that sometimes when I have the air fryer out and I don't put it away, the air fryer will scoot and fall into the sink. Something happened when I was driving and I broke my coffee press. But luckily this is like a little vintage camper thing that my mom gave me from when we used to camp when we were little. And I can just take this off, put some coffee in here and make myself a full cup of coffee. So we're gonna do it that way today. First, I have my favorite coffee. It is Four Sigmatic and it's made with lines made in forceps. And it tastes just like coffee. It just doesn't give me the jitters or the crash or anything that comes with coffee. do a little bit of get ready with me. I think I might just throw my hair up in like a bun or something. I don't really feel like doing anything today. I just want to have a lazy day. I don't want to get ready. I don't want to do anything. I just want to lay and relax. That's what rainy days make me want to do. All right, it was snowing on our drive back here and now that we're here, it's raining and it is time for me to do my dishes. Love a clean sink. Good afternoon. It is the next day and I pretty much just spent today relaxing. I went and ran a few errands. Right now I am currently doing a foot bath. I just heated up some water on the stove a little bit. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar to it and do a foot wash. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar in your foot bath is super healthy and I'm using a pot that I don't use anymore. Oh, that water is so icky and hot and I barely put any soap. So rude. Um, okay, sorry. Um, I'm using a pot that I used to use but I don't use it anymore and it's just been stored in my garage. And I was sitting here and I was like, dang, I don't have any bowls big enough for me to use as a foot bath bowl. And I was like, oh, I have that, I have that old pot. So I went to my garage and I got it. This is kind of self-care in the van. While I'm soaking my feet, I also ran out of my dry shampoo. There's a little bit left. So we're gonna make some together. You're only gonna need four, maybe five ingredients. I am going to be using cornstarch as my base, cacao powder, which is what I use to make it brown to match my shade of hair. I made a TikTok about this and people were leaving comments on it and some people said that they were allergic to cacao and some people commented just use a lot of cinnamon. Now originally I was using cinnamon because I didn't have any essential oils but then I checked my art cart in the garage and I found patchouli. So I'll be using patchouli essential oil to make it smell good so I don't think I'll be needing the cinnamon this time. So that would actually only make it one, two, 
three ingredients versus four, maybe five. So we're gonna start with a little jar. I just got it from my grandma, it's like baby food jar. What I'm using is a teaspoon, but I don't measure with it. I just use it to scoop. I just keep adding the different ingredients back and forth until they match the shape that I want it to match. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this. Actually, I'm gonna try and maybe make a full jar this time. I've never actually made a full jar. So we have the cornstarch. Okay, so it's still a little bit light, so I'm gonna add a little bit more cacao. It definitely makes a mess, but I 100% prefer this over store-bought pressure cooker. Okay, I like that color a lot better. It definitely matches my hair tone. It smells like chocolate patchouli. <laughs> but it keeps my hair volume, I love it. it makes me look clean. And I was made with two ingredients, three having the essential oil. So I was going to talk to you guys about my foot soap and just tell you a little bit about it. And then I started learning so much. There's so many different recipes, whether to do it hot, whether to do it cold, why. I am mostly doing it for detox purposes, relaxing purposes, softening. I know it softens your calluses because of something with the acidity. And then I guess it also is good for warts and athlete's foot. The, the list just goes on, honestly. But personally, I was just doing it to soften up my feet. I went to Walmart today and I got a bunch of little paints and paint brushes. And I want, I don't know, I've just been, like I said, I, I've just been feeling less creative because I feel like I'm only able to crochet because it's the cleanest. I have clay, I have pretty much all of my art here, everything to ship. I've just been wanting to create with other things. So I finally got myself some paint. I have little circle mirrors, so I felt like I could draw some cute things on there. And also I got candles because I've been wanting to paint some candles. I normally do regular self pedicures, but I've been on the road and I just didn't really have the time to do it. So I kind of neglected it. Sorry if there's a loud noise. I have the fan on because I'm painting my nails and I don't want to die from the fumes. I have never done an apple cider vinegar foot bath before. It definitely loosened up my cuticle so it was really easy for me to trim. What I did afterwards was I took a sugar scrub and I just sugar scrubbed my feet and took off as much dead skin as I could. And now that it's drying up, it looks fine. You can't even really tell that I have dead skin on my feet anymore. It looks like I got rid of it. And then I have this Habit nail polish. It is like vegan nail polish. And it looks really cute. It's like a nice like light shimmer. I think I might do some on my toes because I only did clear coat on my toes. But I think I'm going to do some of that. We're making tacos tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 